Why do I do that? <laughs> what is up welcome back to my channel so first things first your girl got a sunburn can you tell can you tell Ooh. today I'm gonna be doing a QA. and a I think these are super fun to do so let's just go ahead and jump into the questions um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with the questions I got first on Instagram so the first question I got is from Justice and he said do you love me you already know I miss you so much we need to hang out okay do you have a boyfriend oh. <laughs> you know I don't um, I guess I could just address this question. Um, a lot of people have asked me about the guy in my vlogs. His name is Darian. He's on my Snapchat too and like my Instagram and everything. We're not boyfriend girlfriend. We both like each other, but I'm leaving. So we can't do anything right now. But no, I don't have a boyfriend, but I like somebody. <laughs> if you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? That's a fantastic question. And I don't... This would be purely for looks. It would probably marry, like, um, Liam Hemsworth Woo! or Zac Efron. But I wouldn't marry them if I, like, had a choice because that would be not a healthy, happy marriage. <laughs> how often do you work out and for how long? Congrats on almost 6K. Your channel has grown so much. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. My channel has been growing hecka fast. I don't know what I'm doing. I used to work out, like, five days a week. I had my little split. I was like, buys and trots, back and buys, blah, blah. Yeah, no. I don't do that anymore. Um, because it was kind of a little bit of obsession, and it wasn't, like, a healthy obsession. So I was like, yo, gotta take a little break. Um, so now I work out... I do legs twice a week. I try to do legs twice a week. And then on the other days, I will do, like... I haven't been doing it this week, but I, I'll do try to do, like, cardio and, like, abs. So I work out, I would say, probably, like, four times a week. Um, and then, like, I go to the gym twice a week to actually work out, like, my legs. Do you have a nail care routine or a nail polish collection? So I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually had a nail channel before I had this channel. I was, like, super into nails. I still have all the equipment, but I actually... As far as nail, nail care, um, if I'm going to remember to do something to my nails, I'll use my Hardest Hoof Cream. It's a, such a good cream. I love it so much. It's like, it's such a weird name, right? Like, I want my nails to be hooves. But it's a really good cream. You can get it at Walmart or Amazon, and it works wonders for, like, weak nails or if you want your nails to grow faster. It's just a cream you rub onto your nails and your cuticles, and it makes your nails grow super fast. Um, I go through little stages with my nails where sometimes I'll, like, actually take care of them and sometimes I just like they're like super short right now and I'm just like whatever so um, I don't really and then as far as the nail polish collection I rarely paint my nails anymore so I do have some but it's nothing amazing and they've kind of all been sitting there for like two years just chilling so do your friends know about your channel and do they support you yes most of my friends know about my channel when I first started it I was like super insecure about it and I didn't want people to see it and stuff but now like most of my friends have been on my vlog like I vlog a lot now so a lot of my friends are on it and yeah they support it they put up with me because I'm always like let's film it everything and they're like Jody <laughs> um, but yeah how did you get so interested in makeup um you know I like I said I was into nails before this and so a lot of the nail people were also like into makeup and so then I just started to get interested into makeup um, from YouTube pretty much and then from there I just was like woo um, and as you guys can kind of tell I go through like stages where I get super interested in something and then I'll drop it for a little while so I haven't been posting a lot of makeup videos just because literally this is all I've been wearing has been mascara and like a little bit of eyeshadow and like a little bit of concealer because summer's right around the corner and I'm just like yo I don't got time for makeup dripping off my face you feel what I'm I mean you see what I mean okay did you do anything to grow your eyelashes yes oh my gosh um coconut oil is your bff -l. um so what I do is every single night after I take off my makeup I'll take some coconut oil and I'll just like you just want to like melt it on your hand a little bit and then I go like this and I'm like da -da 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 -da, and I blink it on my eyelashes if you do that like literally your lashes will get so long and so strong and they'll grow faster and they look better my eyelashes aren't super amazing like they're kind of just regular eyelashes but since I've been doing that um, I pretty much do it every single night and I've noticed a big improvement on the thickness and how fast they grow in fact I have one eyelash you can kind of see it right there it's super long and it's at a really weird spot in my eye so it's like <laughs> but yeah th yeah I do dogs or cats cats what kind of person are you Ooh. What am I? <laughs> I? I'm a very happy person. I would say that I'm happy like 99.5% of the time. Um, I like to be optimistic about pretty much everything and see the bright side of it. Um, people have told me that I'm like a little ray of sunshine. So there's that. Um, what kind of person are you? This is a very broad question. I could go on for hours, but I think that kind of sums it up. I'm just happy, and um, I like to laugh. I like to have fun. <sighs> I like to work out. 
what is your nationality? So I am half German and half Croatian. My mom is completely German. My dad is completely Croatian. You split that right in half, you get Jody. What are you going to school for? Um, so I did a year of community college this last year and, um, I, like, I told you guys that I'm leaving to go to a school of ministry in California. So, um, as far as my plans after that, when I get back, if I still don't know what I want to do, um, I was thinking about pursuing maybe like a kinesiology, personal training type of a, um, degree or something like that. Um, you know what? I just think that God has made some people to go to college and do great. And God has made some people that hate school and... I just don't like school and I like for right now the point I'm in right now in my life yo I'm only 20 like why is there so much pressure to know what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life you feel so I like I'm taking a chill pill this next year and if I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get back I'll still just like work another year and save up money like I don't think there's any pressure to have to figure out what you want to do right after you graduate or even last a couple years after it so I'm not too stressed about that I'm kind of just like feeling it out and seeing what I want to do I'm not really a person where I could see myself doing one job for the rest of my life because I've always just been like burr, 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 like I bounce all over the place um I would like to make YouTube my career but I know that's not a very stable career but that would be something I would love to do. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? So I, man oh man, I, like I said, I go through stages where I like get a super obsessed with things. So my favorite YouTubers right now, I've been watching a lot more fitness YouTubers. So I really like um, Buff Bunny. She's like one of my biggest role models as like a fitness person. Um, I like Whitney Simmons a lot. I've been watching her videos. She's an amazing, she's a, a Gymshark athlete um, and she posts workout videos and stuff like that. So I've been loving her lately. Who inspired you to start making YouTube videos and do you enjoy making them? Um, oh my goodness. So I started YouTube because I thought that it was super cool. The concept of like filming yourself and putting it on the internet and like you can talk to people around the world. You can, anybody can watch you and like you can contact people from all over the place. And the cool thing is, is that if you have something that can help people, that's so cool that you can do that from your home. Like all you do is like turn on a camera, hit record and you can like help people without even like trying really so that was what really inspired me to start making videos i do enjoy making them i love editing i think it's probably my favorite thing to do even though i don't make my videos like super like ooh, like girl like super crazy edit it i love editing videos it's probably one of my favorite things to do um how long have you made making youtube videos i've been making youtube videos for i think almost four years now what do you enjoy doing your free time when you're not making youtube videos i like to work out <laughs> i really do i like to work out um i like to go hiking a lot I like to just do stuff outside, I like to play tennis, I like to just like be outside in the fresh air and the sunshine, um, I like to read, I like to eat food, that's a hobby right? Do you wear contacts or glasses? Um, I don't wear contacts or glasses. What is the last text that you received and sent? Um, I was texting Darian and I was telling him that um, if he needs help, um, I texted Darian because um, it's his birthday today, so I text. I was texting him about his birthday. The last text I got was from him. He said, I will let you know. Not sure what time we'll make it over there. So we were talking about, like, getting together and doing yard work. So. <laughs> uh, next question is, I just start to... Oh, it's from, um, Akoda. I start working for the country, and I'm not saying my acne. My acne. So, my biggest tip for acne is to incorporate apple cider vinegar into your routine. So whether it's like making a toner out of it, um, I would recommend you get like um, raw apple cider vinegar and you take like a teaspoon of it and put it in like just a thing of water and use like a cotton round and just use that on your face. It really helps to get rid of the redness on your skin and also just like diminish the acne a lot. Also any like aloe vera type products or just like straight up aloe vera gel is really going to help acne a lot. Um, and then I've mentioned the skincare company Labry. Um, I know that guys don't usually use like skincare, but I think it's totally worth it if you're struggling with acne. Um, look up Labry. I did a video on it. It really has helped my skin a lot. So um, they have a lot of like aloe vera based products for people who have acne. So I really recommend that. I got this actually twice is why are you so confident in how to build your self confidence? Personally, I'm a very shy person. So I... I think from YouTube may come across as being super outgoing and super extroverted because when you're talking to a camera, it's very easy to be very, like, free. But if you saw me in real life, you would think that I'm much more of an introvert. Depending on who I'm around, I'm a little bit more of a quiet person. So I totally relate with you. And I also did go through a point of my life, and I think that everybody goes through a point in their life where they have insecurity. Um, 
I was super, super insecure when I was like 13, 14 years old. I was like super insecure. I was a skinny little rail. I looked like a walking twig and I was just super insecure about my body, about everything. I was just like, mm, a little social anxiety mixed in there. It was just a party. Um, and my answer, I've, I've answered this question before because I've gotten it before, is I found my identity in the Lord. I literally sound like my mom. Oh my gosh. I sound so old and like, amen. But the thing is, is when you find your self-worth and your confidence through people or through how people view you, you're never going to feel totally secure because people are butts. Um, and I was able to find my confidence in the Lord and knowing how God feels about me. It's like you're, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, your confidence is not in man, it's in God. And the way that God sees you is like perfect. And I think that that's just like, one of the things that has helped me so much has just been knowing that my confidence isn't found in men or like people's opinions of me, it's found in the Lord. And once you, it's like once that's happened in your life, your like confidence is unshaken because it can't be taken away because it's not rely and I'm not relying on other people to make me feel confident or to feel good about myself. Um, so that's kind of like my spiritual answer. My regular answer would just be like, girl, like you are amazing there's only one of you in this entire world how cool is that that god made you so unique and so special and it doesn't matter if you're shy or if you're quiet that's not a bad thing like i think people often label that as a bad thing and just because you're quiet doesn't mean that you're insecure i'm super quiet all the time and i'm not an insecure person so um i just like i don't know if that helps you at all um i don't really i have like a spiritual answer and that's kind of like it because that's honestly like how i like got so like confident it's just like you just have to like know that you're amazing like that sounds super cliche but you are like you're one of a kind there's nobody in the world like you and that is amazing in itself so just own everything about yourself like it doesn't matter like okay so for instance I have hyperhidrosis right makes me super uncomfortable to be around people sometimes and it makes me really insecure but this last year I've been working on just like owning it and just being like whatever like I have acne right I have like messed up skin and I'm like you know what it's me it's like this world has made us like view our flaws as something that's totally bad and like I'm super guilty of wanting to feel perfect that I've just been trying to work on just like not letting the opinions of other people influence how I view myself um, so I don't know if that helps or not but girlfriend I think your name is Carrie is that your name you are amazing you don't have to be insecure God made you just the way that you are and you are perfect girl get confident get confident what is your favorite Bible translation I just go with the NIV most of the time to travel a thousand five hundred miles without any time restrictions with anyone you knew would you take a plane or a car? Ooh. It depends. If I was with somebody that I really liked, we could road trip. But if it was like, eh, I, I, I like planes, actually. I'd probably take a plane. There's one lesson that your parents taught you that you want to teach your kids besides the basic things. Um, my parents just, they've done just like such an amazing job at making me feel like there's not a buttload of pressure on me to know what I want to do because I've been like I'm the youngest I'm the last one out of the nest woo woo. um and like my sisters have always known what they want to do and they've just done it and I've just like struggled with like knowing what I want to do with my life and they've never like pushed me or made me feel like I have to do something like they've encouraged me in all the right ways to like try new things and to try new stuff but they've never made me feel like I have to do something or like they've just never made me feel pressured and I think that's just one of the best things ever is to feel like you have like support from your parents in any in any way that you go all right guys so that is my little q a for you guys i really hope you enjoyed this if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any other questions leave them down below and i can totally do these like weekly i think that'd be super fun so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll talk to you guys later bye